foot. The foot will use a geosphere. Not that it really matters. Like, who gives a shit? Whatever. Use whatever you want. Just make it look like this. So we have that. Uh, hemisphere. We will rotate it. We will slide it in a position here. And we will we will have issues apparently. Is that working weird? Sphere. Hemisphere. Point five. It's always something. These things work so well when I just do them while not recording. Huh. I don't know what the hell the story is with that. Anyway, we want to add segments to this one. Uh, 32, that's fine. Line it up in the viewport. All viewports, I guess. Ah, we will rotate it, oh, wrong axis, so we have that, and we'll break a little bit off our pictures so we can get that ankle really lodged in there, so that'll be our foot, I guess. Edit poly blow. Uh, loop. Well, this is not. This is just not my day. Uh. I guess Camtasia just fucks me over every time I go to use it. It really shits on my computer. So, okay, now that we have all the bottom things of this done, um, we can go to loops, insert loop. And I know that really jacks up our poly count. Uh, you know what? We're not going to insert loop because that really does jack up the poly count. Mm. At this point, we could. Uh, we didn't make the tail. Well, we'll make the tail in a minute. But I'm going to turn off my reference panel because I can't stand all that. And we'll be able to work a little bit faster with that not blaring in our face. Delete that and uh, go to border tool, cap. After that, we can select that, view, and still uh, tessellate, uh, same result, maybe, is there a loop, nah, it's still doing that, mm, I don't know, I'm just going to, 
leave it like that. We just won't bend the foot. In that case, we didn't need to put so many polys on the actual top part of the foot either. But I'm not going to fix it because this is a tutorial and it's just meant to show you basic stuff. View. Alright, so we're going to... <clears throat> Here's a neat little thing. I connect these pieces. And they're all linked together now, which means that uh, I can move this all in one piece. But you can select them all by double-clicking the parent. And that's neat. That's a fun little thing right there for you. So if I just uh, shift and drag copy I can mirror that Have to make sure to get the mirror on the right axis <clears throat> and there it is the Y and we will go into our left viewport here I'm gonna turn the grid back on by hitting G I'm gonna move all of this to the center And understand the feet are intersecting. Um, hit G again. I don't care. I will take the mohawk thing, and like I said, we could go in and edit it. Um, I'm not going to. I'll just show you how you could do it. I guess if you really wanted to. I actually like the way this looks. You can just take this and play with the handles and whatnot. You can do whatever you want, but um. There's a lot of people that have a hard time with this for some reason. I found that um, the more pen work I was able to do in Adobe Illustrator when I was a kid, um, the better I got with that is the better you'll understand the way the Bezier curves work with the handles and whatnot. So um, you can always practice in Illustrator or you know, Studio Max, whatever, anything that's got a Bezier tool or a pen tool. All right, so I'm just going to add an extrude onto this. There you are. Let's see, it. we'll get the thickness down in this viewport. Uh, three for this model. And what I will do is I will align to center so I can make sure that's that. And then I can slide this to the center of the head. So we don't have them all done. We'll just add the tail and that will be it. And uh, I like to make them uniform color like that. And now I will bring up my material editor. Shortcut is M on the keyboard. Uh, we're not using shortcuts in this, though. I'll call them out if I remember as we go along. All right, so that's pretty uniform looking now. Let's see what we want. All right, you know what? We forgot the uh, the chest thing also. little chest uh, I don't know what that's called I've seen it before <laughs> but uh, I'm not worried about it see what I want to do real quick 